Hi everyone, this is Ms. Chrisman and this is your word study video for Wednesday, May 27th. Um, I can't wait to see your accessories for today. I hope you like my sunglasses and my hat. Um, today we're going to continue working on rhyming and I'm going to teach you a strategy today that's going to help you use rhyming to be an even better speller. But first, I just want to tell you one thing that I made for you. Um, we worked so hard for so long to learn so many college words. And um, I wanted to make you something so that you don't never forget those words and that you can always have them with you. Um, so I put together a list of the words with all of the pictures and I saved it on the Google Drive. I'm going to put a link to it in the description of the video down below. Um, but that way, if you have a printer at home, you can print it. Or if you don't have a printer, you can just save it on your computer. And then you can look at it and you can practice still spelling those words and saying those words and impressing people with the college words that you know. It was kind of hard to see in those sunglasses. Um, so today we're going to use rhyming to help us get even better at spelling. Yesterday, we learned that words that are in the same word family rhyme. So if they have the same ending, then we know that um, they probably rhyme. And today we're going to use that to spell um, words. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to tell you how to spell one word and you're going to write it at the top of your paper. Then I'm going to say a bunch more words and you're going to write them down as I say them. And then we'll check our work at the end and see how you can spell so many words just if you know one word and then you know all the rest of the words that rhyme. If that didn't make any sense. That's OK, because we're going to do it right now and then you'll know what in the world I'm talking about. Top of your paper right now, I want you to write the word ice. Ice is spelled like this, I-C-E. It's kind of a tricky spelling um, in that word C-E says S. But now that we know that I-C-E says ice, we're going to be able to use that to write a lot more words and spell them exactly right. Are you ready? Get your pencil ready. The next word under the word ice I want you to write is nice. Nice. Now below that word, I want you to write the word slice. Slice. Now below that word, I want you to write the word twice. Twice. Underneath that word, I want you to write the word device, device. Device. Now, before we check our work together, I want you to go back and make sure that you have the ending ice in all of those words. Ice, 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 ice. Nice. Okay, now let's check your spelling on all of those words. Let's read them together. Ice, nice, slice, twice, device. Awesome job. Do you see how knowing how to spell one word ice and then knowing how to rhyme can help you spell so many more words? Let's try it with another word. At the top of your paper, I want you to write the word team, team, T-E-A-M, team. Team. Now the ending in team, the word family that we're looking at is eem. And in team, eem is spelled E-A-M. 
all of the words that we write right now are going to end with E-A-M. They're all going to rhyme with team, and they're going to be spelt with the same endings. Are you ready? The first word is cream. 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 The next word is dream. Dream. Remember, there's no J-R. Drive, drive, dr, dr, dr. D-R says dr, not J-R. Dream. The next word is scream. 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 And the last word is stream. 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 Now, before we check our work together, I want you to go back to the ending of team and look at E A M. And then make sure that all of the rest of the words that you wrote end with E-A-M. 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 This is how I'm checking my work. Okay, let's check our work together now and read those words. Team. Cream. Dream. Stream. Stream. Isn't that awesome how knowing how to spell one word and then knowing about rhyming helps us spell so many more words and the words are getting longer and longer. Try it with one more word. Okay, the last word we're going to rhyme with is the word cool. At the top of your paper, write the word cool, C-O-O-L, cool. Now I want you to find the ending that we're going to rhyme with. So what do you think the ending is going to be that we're going to rhyme with? You underlined O-O-L, you are right. All the words that we're going to write right now are going to end with the ool sound. So they're going to have an ool at the end of them. Are you ready? The first word is pool. Pool. The next word is stool, stool. The next word is drool, drool, drool. And the last word is School, school, school. Before we check our work together, I want you to look back at all the words that you wrote and make sure that the endings of the words that you wrote are the same as the word cool. So look for O-O-L in all of the words that you wrote. Okay, let's read the words together. Cool, pool, stool, drool, school. Give yourself a big check. You did an awesome job with this. Today, let me put my sunglasses back on for this. Today, we learned that when you know how to rhyme, you can use rhyming to help you spell other words that rhyme with that word exactly the right way like you would see it in a book. Awesome job. I'll see you tomorrow.